Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to be looking at the concept of view sets. Now view sets are classes that are similar to class-based views but different in a way that they instead handle actions that happened with a related set of views. Let me explain. So what happens when you're using class-based views is each time you're using a class-based view you have to define each HTTP request and you have to actually define each of the methods as a handler function. For example, let me actually show you here. So I'm going to go to my views.py and what I have to do is to write a simple uh, string here. So when using class-based views, what you actually do is to define methods such as dot get that's if we are carrying out a get request then dot post if you are carrying out a post request then dot put and so on so this is when you're actually using class-based views now when you're using view sets it's quite different because all we have to focus on is the actions that are carried out by each of the http handler functions now in this case let's say we have our view set class now this view set will actually have to invoke functions such as dot create and then we shall have to invoke the function for dot get so that actually this is going to be dot list because then we are returning a list or we are retrieving data and then we shall have to carry out uh, we have to uh, create a list then we also have to call dot retrieve and then we can also do dot update and so on and destroy for deleting now we're going to be looking at how we can be able to construct view sets given our models so if you're to observe i have the same model as we had in our project and I have URLs that I have in Tampa. with. I've actually created a new project to demonstrate the concept of view sets. So what I'll do is to create our view sets. So I'm going to go within our views.py and I'm going to remove this. And then the first thing we're going to do is to create a view set. So writing view set saves us from writing all the logic for related view or request handler functions. Now what we shall do is to import our view sets module or our view sets package from Django REST framework. So I'll do that with from REST framework. We're going to go ahead and import our view sets. And right after importing our view sets, I'm going to come right here and define a class. So this is going to be a class and this class is going to be our post view set. So once we have a post view set, we can write all of our logic for handling, getting, uh, retrieving, updating, and deleting our post objects without having to define independent view classes. Now what we shall do is to make this inherit from view sets dot view set. Now in here, we can go ahead and define the different methods for getting, retrieving, updating, and deleting. So I'm going to begin with listing. So I'll define a function and this is going to be for the action of listing. So this will take in self and then it will take in our request. But this request is going to be of type request. So I'll have to also import our request class. So I'll do from this framework dot requests. I am going to simply go ahead and import our request class. And right after doing that, I'll basically state that this is of type request. And once you have this, then the first thing we shall do is to determine our query set or a list of objects that we want to list in this case. Now our query set is going to be equal to all our posts as they are in our post database. So we have some objects of posts in our database. Now I'm going to import our post model. So I'll say from dot models, I am simply going to go ahead and import our post model. So I'll just come right here and query for all our posts with posts.objects.all. And then I'll also have to specify our serializer. So I actually copy the same serializer that we are using in our project for this course. And it's the same serializer that we have here that's a model serializer. So I'll just come here in our views. And all I have to do is to specify our serial, that our serializer is going to be equal to our post serializer so it's going to actually auto import right here 
So once you have this thing, the next thing I'm going to do is to specify that this serializer is going to take in the instance and this instance is going to be our query set. And since we are returning a list of posts, then we shall, we shall also have to specify many being equal to true. And then we are going to return a response containing our list of posts. So to do that, I'll just simply come and say, we're going to simply return response. And then here we shall have our data. And this data is going to be our serializer data. So in this case, we shall say serializer.data. And then we're also going to specify our status code. So I'll just come and say status is equal to. So I'll come and from Django REST framework, we shall have to import our status. So I'll just come here and say that we shall have our status. And here we shall access our HTTP status of 200. OK. And this is going to actually return this. So it seems like I have an issue here. I need to return our response. So I'll just come and say from, sorry for this. So just come and say from REST framework dot response, we are going to import our response class. And right after importing our response class, then everything is going to be sorted. Now we also need to do the same thing for retrieving. So what I'm going to do in this case is to come and say def, retrieve and in this case we're going to retrieve we shall have self and then we shall take in a request so this will be of type request and in this case what we need to do is to actually go ahead and define our post that we want to retrieve so we need to also have our primary key here so our primary key is going to have a default of none and what i'll do in this case is to actually query for it by using a special shortcut from django so i'll just come and say get object of 404 it's actually going to be imported right at the top here and then we shall specify our class so our class is going to be a post class and then what we need is to query for the id and this is going to be for the pk now, after doing this, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to simply return a response containing this specific post. Now, we shall have to call our serializer. So, I'll just come and say serializer is going to be called our post serializer. So, it's going to take in our instance as our post. And then, we shall have to return this in a response. So, we shall come and say return response. And then, we shall have our data being equal to our serializer dot data and in this case i'll have to basically return our status so i'll say status and this status is going to be status dot http 200 okay all right so we've been able to define uh, methods for getting or listing all our objects as well as for retrieving an object now in case you wanted to create you would also go ahead and basically create and also update and destroy so let's go ahead and test these two uh, different methods or different actions we've defined in our view set now for us to be able to include our views our view set in our urls we'll have to do that using routers so routers allow us to basically map a view set onto our urls now the beauty with view sets is view sets allow us to generate urls for all our actions without us having to actually mind about the url construction now what i have to do is to go to the main project urls.py which is found in our blog project it doesn't really matter the name of the project you called it so for me it's blog and then urls.py that's the main project urls now i'm going to begin by removing the comment in here and once i remove this comment we shall begin by importing our visit so i'll just come and say from from posts dot views i'm going to import our post view set and right after importing up first view set, I'm going to use Django REST framework to create a router. So I'll just come right here and say from REST framework dot routers. I'm simply going to go ahead and import our default router class. So by using the default router class, we create an instance for it. And then it gives us the ability to create, uh, to map our view sets onto URLs. So I'll just come and say, we're going to create our router object, which is going to be 
an object of default router or an instance of default router and right after doing this then i'm going to come and what i have to do in this case is to register a vset so i'll just come and say router dot register and then i'll provide the prefix so we shall provide this prefix as just an empty url or the root url and right after doing that we shall also have to specify our vset so in this case i'll call this the post vset and right after doing this then I provide the base name so this is going to be like the name that each of the urls will have and then defined of the other names so we shall see this when we get to swagger documentation so once i have this then we shall also have uh we shall also actually have our base name we going to have our base name and let's say we're going to call this post for now so once we have this then all we have to do is to include these urls onto our main project urls so to do that i'm just simply going to come here and all i have to do is to say posts and then i'll provide our url as posts and then all i have to do is to include these onto our main project urls so i'm going to begin by importing the include function from django.urls and then all i have to do is to say include and then here we're going to include our router dot urls and right after doing this i'm going to save and then let's go ahead and test our urls so i'm going to go back to insomnia right here because it's a testing tool i'm using for all this so when i come and send we now see that's actually returning our list of posts as they are in our database when i try to retrieve a post i'm going to also retrieve a post by the id of three now this is working exactly how we want it so another way we can actually be able to do this simply is by using our model view sets so similar to model serializers model view sets allow us to construct our urls or to construct our views from a given model so basically what we have to define is our query set and our serializer class and everything will be taken care for so we're going to go back to our views.py right in our posts app right here and we're going to change a few things so we've been writing all this logic for us to be able to retrieve to list our posts but what we're going to do is to change this so i'll just come and remove these actions for now and then all i have to do is to say that our view set is going to have it's going to inherit from model view set so with model view set we just have to define a few things the first thing we're going to define is going to be our query set and this query set is going to just be a query to all posts so we shall just say post dot objects dot all and we shall also have to specify our serializer class so our serializer class in this case is going to be our post serializer and once we have this then we are good to go we have officially all functionality that we need to create read update and destroy our posts so let's go ahead and look at this so when i save and head over to our insomnia right here hoping that our server is still running so when i go back to insomnia right here and try to retrieve a post it's being retrieved so let's try to get a post right now we see that all our posts are being returned and let's say we want to return we want to actually create a new post so i'll create a new post and this is actually making sure that a new post has been created so we can actually go ahead and also carry out other things like up updating and deleting all our posts so model visits actually make it easier for us to be able to carry out CRUD functionality on our api views without having to write a lot of code and i hope you've learned from this video in this video i've been able to talk about view sets and how they can make it easy for us to construct urls out of our defined model and serializer if you've enjoyed and learned from this video please consider liking consider sharing this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye